Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to install a Wi-Fi smart socket um, using your Android phone or you can use your um, iPhone. It's the same format, but I have Android, so I'm going to show you how to do it on there. All right, so let's go, to go and unbox this. What this is is a um, Wi-Fi smart socket. Once again, it works with Amazon Alexia or it works with the Google Home Assistant. Um, with this, you can control electrical um, devices using your tablet or smartphone. You could turn on and off, check status. You could actually create schedules and um, set timers inside the app. And also, once again, it works with your Google Home and Assistant. And the model that I'm using is a um, WUS001, which is the rounded model. The WUS003 is the more um, square box model. So when we open this up, you want to have a set of instructions directly on top. Uh, Wi-Fi smart socket. And it tells you um, all about it. Read the instructions manual um, before usage. And right here, uh, it has the barcodes to download the Smart Life app. This app is uh, what you use to operate this um, Wi-Fi socket. It has it for the on the left side, which is the Apple, and right side, which is the Android device. All right. Also inside the box, we have what we're looking for. This is the uh, Wi-Fi outlet. It has a power button on the side. Has a ground wire. It's nice and bulky, and it uh, reminds me um, the size of it. If you'll plug it into another outlet. Um, the size of it will be almost like if you were to use an air freshener or a scent that you plug into a wall or a nightlight. All right, so once you plug this in, you're going to have the indicator light that comes on and off. It's going to be flashing. So that lets you know it's getting ready to be in a pairing mode. What I have right here is a socket tester. To, uh, um, this is going to allow us to... Um, see that it works properly and if you see this red light flash that means it's damaged these two lights come on that means it's good so we're going to plug this in like so we're going to push the power button and voila the two lights come on the red light didn't come on so it's good to go now with this power button here just say um, by any chance your wi-fi is not working properly in your home and you need to control the outlet, you still have power. So all you have to do is push the side of it, that will cut it off. And once again, push it again, it will cut it on. So it works that way also too. All right, so let's get to downloading the app, which is actually already downloaded on my phone app, by the way. Um, go into my app, it's Smart Life. And when you open up the Smart Life app on the upper right hand corner, of course you're going to have to register it. Um, this, mine is already registered under my name. So what you're going to have to do um, to add a device, you're going to see the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to hit that and it's going to say what you're installing. So what we're doing is installing an electrical outlet. So guys, um, for my security purposes, I'm going to have to put a piece of paper over here because it's going to give out some vital information I do not want nobody else to see. So right here is basically saying um, power on the device and confirm that the indicator light is, um, is blinking rapidly. So yes, it is. I'm going to click confirm. And what it's going to ask you right now is your password information. Mine is already in there. So I'm going to hit confirm. All right. So it's going up to now it's connecting. So it's at seven, eight, nine. So it's going to go, of course, duh, 100%. Let me get out the light. It's the glare. All right. There we go. So it's connecting now. And uh, yeah, if you heard a little click, let me move this up closer. That was the outlet doing that. There we go. So it's successfully added. It's a mini smart socket. So what I'm going to actually rename this 
is actually, I'm going to name it, um, I got this, it's going to be um, the shoe dryer that I have by my front door. So I'm going to type in shoe and dryer. Click confirm. And I'm going to share with my family later. I'm going to click done. And now it's successfully added. Shoe dryer. So there we go. So I'm going to click this. Go out. Now it's on. Now it's actually connected. Now let's see how it works. So we have the shoe dryer right here. And I'm going to see if I push the button, it cuts it off, just like so. Push the power button on again, it comes on, off, on. So let's go up into the app and let's just see something right here. I'm going to click on to that. I'm going to click this up the menu bar. So now I can go into device, sharing, info. I can use the Echo, use the Google Home. I can remove the device and I can modify the name. I can go back this way. And down right here is the, let me zoom in a little bit better. If you can see that, it says schedule, timer, and I could do random and I could circulate. So let's click on schedule. So as you can see, I can add a schedule and it has several times. I will do that um, a little bit later. And I can also have a timer. So if you want your um, anything or like a light or I like for an example, I have my fish tank. Um, the lights come on at a certain time. I could do that and create a schedule. So once again, I'm going to connect this to my Google Home Mini. It's very, very simple. I'm going to come out. I'm going to go to my Google Home. And I'm going to go to Home Control. And I'm going to go into Let me see something. Go into Home Control. I didn't see the Smart Life app. I'm going to click the plus. All right, there we go. So I'm going to Smart Life. It should say I'm going to unlink my account. Don't really have to do that. Or as opposed to automatically um, add, add it on there. So let me see. It's not adding it on there. So let me unlink my account. Let's see how I could do it that way. All right, so smart life devices. Go back. This is fine, smart life. Click this. All right, I'm gonna go off camera real quick. Um, Cause it's gonna ask me to enter a password and all that. And I don't want you all to see that. to my password all right so I enter my password and I'm authorizing it it's linking my account and there it go everything is in here I don't know why I did that um, like maybe I gotta check into something it shouldn't have done that 
but let me see how it works I might have to assign it to a room if it did that but let's I have my Google mini next to me so let me see how it works hey Google cut off shoe dryer you got it turn huh. the shoe dryer off all right as you can see um, it cut the shoe dryer off now let me um, cut it back on hey Google cut shoe dryer on Calling Pete Dryer, Inc. on St. Mary's River Road in St. Mary's. Hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, cut on shoe dryer. Hey, Google. Okay, turning right. the shoe there dryer on. Hey, Google, cut off shoe dryer. Okay, turning off the shoe dryer. And look once again. Hey, Google, cut on shoe dryer. Sure, turning on the shoe dryer. So there you go, guys. Um inbox me or you know message me if you have any um, questions or concerns text me once again um, for any questions and i answer them as soon as i can you have to get you guys oh i'm stuttering again hey guys you got to get one of these it's basically um, a wall outlet you could take it out i could take this out now and i could plug it wherever i want where my shoe dryer is at now so have fun, get plenty of these. He's only fifteen dollars. Once again, um, you gotta have one. Great um, device to add to your house.